Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm excited because this is a big box and it's a heavy box. My card says, ooh, a geode. I speculate that part of this will look just like a normal rough rock. I hope that there's some cool crystal structures in the inside of the geode. I don't really, I don't really know. Let's let's check this out. Let's open this box because this box is is no fun, but the geode is very fun. Man, this is. Heavy. All right, big old geode. I'm already covered in a little dirt and dust. This thing is super, super heavy. Definitely heavier than a baseball. Just outside, it's really rough, kind of dirty. There's already dirt all over the place. Definitely looks like you found it from outside. Light brownish color, tan. So what I first noticed when I took it out of the box is that it rattles. What is in this? What are we doing with this today? We are actually gonna crack this sucker open. What? My curiosity is killing me. So we're gonna grab a geo cracker. We're gonna set our studio up for some mad scientist fun and we're gonna crack this puppy open and see what is in the inside. Is it colorful? Is it smooth? Is it beautiful? What kind of gemstone is even inside a geode? I really don't think there's a way to x-ray this or peer through it with supersonic glasses or whatever. That is why it's so cool to hear this the shaking sound. So if I can hear a little of that rattling, a little bit of that shaking, that means that there's something hollow in here or something that's moving. So makes me think that we are gonna see quite the surprise inside this little guy. Here's the tough thing, when you're hiking, when you're out in the field, I would not think that this is a geo. There really isn't any way to check. I mean, you, you can't chop it open outside, you can't peer through it. For geologists and gemologists alike, this is kind of the age old question, what is going on inside that rock? This geode is like nature's unboxing. Whoa. Double the fun, double the unboxing today. I hope I find some beautiful colors, cool structures of gems. I hope I find some ancient water. I wanna see something really cool, something I can write home about. This was actually found in Middle Tennessee near the Tennessee-Kentucky border in a creek bed at the Del Hollow Reservoir. So for those of you who are interested in finding your own geode, you know, check out that area or just go for a hike. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to find a geode. All right, time to crack this thing open. Can't wait. I'm gonna change my glasses, safety first. So when I originally thought about cracking open geodes, I thought it would just be, you know, a, a chisel and a couple hammers and it would be a done deal. Actually, we have this hydraulic press here. This is this um, nifty invention that I actually will wrap this chain around and secure it. So what happens is that this chain, it puts pressure on the rock. What I'm gonna do is pump this press. Smell that hydraulic fluid. <laughs> Getting a little bit harder. So now that thing's taut enough that the rock is securely held and we're hoping that those, oh, there you go. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Hold your breath, everyone. some dust popping up. A little bit harder. <laughs> this is so much fun. Woo! Look at that. Those, remember that rattling sound that we, we heard? It's these little guys. The inside of that, really sharp edges. We're gonna lower this guy right down. There we go. Two pieces plus a bunch of the little rattling parts. So it's hard to tell exactly what this is. I suspect it's either quartz or, or calcite. Kind of surprised that there's no color, but I think it, it's still pretty. It's interesting. I think it's really cool how these all shot out. Never in a million years would I thought I'd have a chance to crack open a geode. You get two gorgeous pieces of geode and a super fun story to tell your friends. All right, table's all cleared off. Let's dive into what exactly is going on. We talked about how you really couldn't tell what was going on from the outside. In the inside, we can see a really interesting crystal structure. It's kind of like a yellowish brown color, not super sparkly like I was expecting. That rattling sound, these are what we heard. If you can hear, I just drop a couple. These were obviously loose and just kind of in the stone and you could shake it and that's that sound that we heard. Their structure's pretty neat, like look at that one. 
kind of grows on top of one another. They're all connected. Some of these are bigger than others. A little, little sparkle. So here's the thing about geodes. You really don't know what you're gonna get. This is the geode that we just cracked open. You can see it just looks like a normal rock and on the inside, well, you've already seen that. Here is another piece that I picked up and you can see outside, normal rock, really rough, unassuming. Take a look at this beauty. What's interesting about this is that it's a little bit clearer on the inside, the color is different, and that's what's so fascinating about geodes. You could get a purple amethyst, you could get an agate geode, you just don't know. You know, the rock on the outside, it's not that much, it's just about a quarter of an inch right there, but it hides this beautiful part, and you know, you could be hiking or outside in the field and you just don't know if you're hiking over one of these. Pretty cool, huh? Here's a basic explanation for how we get geodes. First, water carries minerals into a, a void or some open space in Earth. Then the water actually evaporates out, leaving these minerals, and then they have time to grow, and we actually get a geode after that. You know, this is just another example of Mother Nature's recipe box. She really is the most perfect chef. One of the coolest geodes I've ever seen was at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, actually just earlier this year in February. I swear, it was five, six feet tall. It was huge and it was amethyst, so it was this gorgeous purple color. One of my favorite ones is actually an agate geode. So we've talked about agate before. It's just a basic banded chalcedony. But what's so cool about agate geodes is that you actually see different banding and different colors. I've seen agate geodes that were brown, colorless, red, even orange and then you have the amethyst ones that are purple. Some of them rattle, others you'll hear uh, water in it. You really don't know what you're gonna get, but I'm pretty sure that you'll always get a surprise. Let's take a closer look at the geo that we actually cracked open today. I want you all to take a closer look at these pieces in here. Remember, that is what was broken off and rattling when we shook the stone the first time. today for me was actually being able to crack open a geo. Never in a million years did I think I'd be able to do that in my gemological career. So cheers to the geodes and cheers to our hydraulic jack. Don't forget, like, subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss out on future episodes and we'll see you soon.